Trigo Kunari! Hello people, how are you doing? This week I will show you a new area of the city, some animations and a new enemy, so let's start. The new area will be a shopping mall. To connect the road with the entrance of the mall, I will use a canvas with the double height as usual, so I can put the road below and do the transition between the terrain more fluid. Immediate regrets! I will use normal size canvas and redraw the road terrain. This will be the end of the road and the start of the sidewalk close to the mall. I will use different layers, for example in this facade, so in the game I can do different types of death. You will see in a few minutes why. My efficiency is glorious, I just spent more than one hour drawing vertical lines, but at least I didn't forget any of them. Let's add the floor color and the glass door this one with a little bit of transparency, so you can see through it, all of them in different layers, and start exporting one by one. In the game engine they have a different Z index, different depth, so when you play the game some of them stay behind the star and some in front of her, as you can see here. For the animation of the doors opening, I will draw different door layers and import them into the game engine. Then I will use a detection area for starting the animation. For the animation, I will use one of the best, for not saying the best node, the animation player. Here I put the different door sprites and collisions in different times, and when the star touches the detection area, activates the timeline. Or maybe not. Let's make the detection area bigger and try it out. Nice! As I promised in the comments, I will draw a blonde girl pursuing the star. When I was drawing the kids, I draw different hair styles so I can do all kinds of kids. I like this one for the blonde girl. I only need to add the hair color. I will give her different t-shirt, pants and sneaker colors. I apologize to all fashion followers for the chosen color. I have no idea of fashion. Here we have the blonde kid following the star. Let's add her some run animation as well, starting with the extended legs and drawing the rest of the movement. I followed a run animation image in internet, because if not I would draw things like this one. Now export each frame of the animation. I change the sprite node for an animated sprite, add all the frames Change the code, and now the girl can run with her legs, not with levitation as before, even though levitation is way cooler in my opinion. Since there is a lot of drawing in this video, I will show you the new enemy directly, without the pain of your eyes bleeding out with my painting skills. It's a person working with his dog, maybe a little bit small, but we cannot look down on small dogs only because of its size. Right now the dog is inanimate. What he will do is work between two points, and if you get too close to the dog, he starts chasing you. Let's see an example. Perfect. A little bit of coding, and here we have it. I know the mall floor color is not the best, this one is only temporary. I also added a rudimentary checkpoint, and put it after the door mall. If you die before the entrance, you reset here. But if you die after the checkpoint, you reset at the beginning of the mall. Next step is making the electric car a rear diesel car, with these two black smoke sprites. I will animate the smoke as I did with the door. This time the smoke gets bigger and transparent. Let's move the camera up. I, I just realized that the whirlpools have the same loop path. In the previous video, I said that if you want a new path, you only need to copy-paste and modify it. And it's not true. I'm a liar! I forgot to make each path unique. Let's modify it. And now it's true what I said. Look the difference between making them unique or not. The smoke works perfectly, but it appears in the middle of the car. Let's fix that and add it to the other cars. And here it is, all what is done so far.
It's difficult to see, but I promise there are two different types of smoke shapes. And that's it. See you next time.